So this morning we had a Nintendo Indie World and Partner Direct, kind of a putting them both together, and I feel like that was partially because we're entering sort of the last hurrah of the Switch and showing off a lot of stuff that's coming out at the end of the life cycle of that system. There was a lot more there than I was expecting. There's actually a lot of really cool stuff, so I'd love to hear what games you are most excited for, what really surprised you. Because there were a ton of things in both parts of that Direct, I think something for just about everyone. Uh, some of the stuff that really stood out to me was that Com Fighting Collection 2. That's one I want to keep an eye out and decide whether or not that's something I would be into that comes out next year. That's one I want to keep my eyes on. Um, as well, the Asubi Coden 1 and 2 remaster kind of resurfaced after seemingly disappearing for over a year or more. Uh, it's kind of cool to see that coming back. I know a lot of people are excited for that. A decent number of RPGs in general. And then the two things that really stood out to me, one of them really blew me away. Uh, so there's a couple of things in here that oh, looks interesting, maybe I'll think about it, keep my, my eyes on them in the future, but there's two definitely I know 100% I'm getting and really excited to see Tales of Graces F Remastered. It's one of the Tales games that I never got a chance to play, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing that, and that comes out in January of next year, so that's probably going to be my first game of 2025. I'm excited to check that one out because it's a Tales game I had not played before, uh, and I'm glad to see that they're still putting previous Tales games out. I really hope we get Abyss, and I really hope they start digging into a lot of the ones that were Japan exclusive, but it's still good to see that we're getting some from the more PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii era with Grace's F, so that's exciting for next year. And the big surprise that blew me away, oh my gosh, Kiryu is coming to the Switch with Yakuza Kiwami is coming finally to the Switch. The only games in the franchise, like the, the main portion of the franchise that have been on any Nintendo systems were 1 and 2. The original PS2 versions both had a remaster and a collection on the Wii U only in Japan. You know, we never got that here and since then they've just not, they've avoided Nintendo hardware. It's really cool to see this coming and holy cow it's coming this year. It's coming this fall. So I am really excited to grab another copy of that game and replay it. I will always take the chance to replay a Yakuza game and I just I, I love that they are starting with those and who knows what will happen with the Switch 2 in the future, the Switch successor having being a you know, more powerful system, be able to run things more effectively in handheld mode. Like, will we see more of the franchise ported over? I think a lot is going to depend on the sales of this first entry, kind of testing the waters. So I hope this does really well, and I'm very excited that that is just a few months away. And what did you see in the Direct today that excited you, or the big surprises, and what are you definitely going to be grabbing?